Practicing frugality will give you a nice boost down your path to financial freedom. And it will also increase your happiness by cutting out the things that don't move the care needle for you. Let's cover 10 frugal habits that will get you well on your way to crushing your goals in 2024. And no matter how far away you are from your goals, say you're 50 pounds overweight or you're a financial mess and you're constantly in credit card debt, it's easy to think why start, who cares anyway, it's a lost cause, but it's really not. If you implement these habits one at a time, you will ultimately get to where you wanna be. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jeff Teeples, and here we aim to grow your wealth with simple, time-tested <laughs> solutions. Let's go. Prioritize your values. Prioritizing your values is the first step towards any type of growth. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about building wealth, reaching your goals, adopting minimalism, or developing frugal habits. It's best to cut out the fat right away so we can focus on what matters. I struggle with this step because I like stuff. I'm a general consumer of goods. I like sports, books, shows, video games. Give me all the things. But I'm always more fulfilled when I'm selective and I take the time to experience each new purchase I make. Most things inevitably fall to my backlog, which never get touched because of the next new shiny toy. What I like to do from time to time is to write down a list of the hobbies or items that bring me the most joy. This gives me clarity on the categories that are worth investing my time and money in. Declutter regularly. Once we develop a roadmap that brings us joy, it's time to clean up shop. Only purchasing what you truly need is a hallmark of the frugal lifestyle. But none of us are perfect with our purchases, especially if we're just starting the journey of frugal living. Only keeping what you truly need is just as important as the purchasing aspect. Go through your stuff every couple months and make some cuts. It's really hard to do at first, but it gets easier. Do you really need the 30 outfits that are hanging in your closet if you only realistically wear your top 10? It's important to do this cleanup before moving to the next steps. Shop strategically. Now that we've prioritized a list of what we need to buy, it's time to start buying quality over quantity. That's right, it's time to spend some money. People often confuse being frugal with being cheap. Being frugal usually means buying higher quality items that bring more joy to the focused area of our lives. It's all about value over price. Don't buy the ultra expensive item for the brand name if it doesn't improve the quality. Buy the highest quality option without paying for the logo. And we should always be patient now that we have a short list of what we need. We can wait for sales. If we can get that item that we would have bought anyway for half price, the savings will snowball. And buy some of your day in, day out items in bulk, but always check for the per unit price because sometimes buying in bulk can be deceptively wasteful. And most importantly in this shopping category, don't buy anything that's not found on your short list of needs and your few desires. If you go and buy something that's normally $100 for 35 bucks, you didn't save 65 bucks, you wasted $35. Stick to your budget. Create a budget that makes sense for your situation and stick to it. And this doesn't have to be an elaborate spreadsheet if that's not your thing. You can even hand write this thing out. There's no perfect way to do it and your process will continue to evolve with experience. And regardless of what form your budget comes in, make sure that you live below your means. Budget your needs carefully, especially in the beginning of your career and investing journey. The money that you save and invest will snowball to riches the sooner you get started. Consider the opportunity cost of daily wants. Now I'm not going to be the guy to tell you that you can no longer get your daily coffee, but the people that bring up those outrageous numbers regarding opportunity costs are not exaggerating. So these numbers are real. You lose $1 million for every 40 years that you waste $5 a day. That's assuming you take that $5 wasted and put it into an S&P 500 index fund instead of into coffee. If you spend an extra $10 eating out per day during your work career, which is common because who has time to prepare when you're in the grind of your career, you'll waste $2 million over your 40 year work career. And this is due to the compound effect. You don't literally spend an extra $2 million on food, but it does ultimately set you back $2 million of net worth. Wait to buy. I like to wait at least a day before I pull the trigger on a purchase. 
And now I know there are those rare situations where you truly can't wait, but for the most part, we don't need to buy 99% of the stuff that we do that day. Sleeping on it removes many of the impulse purchases. And if you wake up and you still wanna buy it the next day, buy it, it's meant to be. Now my wife would like to add that you shouldn't sleep on it for six months if it's something you need. Every time we need to buy a major piece of technology such as a TV, I'll do months and months of research before pulling the trigger and this drives her crazy. Please do not wait to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. This is not an impulse decision and I promise you will be fulfilled. Limit dining out. Your expenses will skyrocket if you consistently dine out. This is one of the frugal habits that's easy for me because I don't enjoy eating out that much, but I do think it needs to be on this list because it's so common. For me, it's a waste of money, bad for my health, and a waste of the most important resource of all, my time. I know a lot of people out there enjoy food more than I do, and they like that setting for spending time with friends and family. It can also be a nice option to minimize meal prepping time. And if you truly enjoy eating out, do it from time to time. We all have the things that add enjoyment to our lives, but just try to limit it to once a week or once a month or whatever you can fit into your budget. And really limiting it will make it more special when you do it. And remember how that opportunity cost added up of just $5 per day? Well, these days, depending on where you're eating and how large your party is, you're looking at an extra 30 to $100 per meal. Enjoy free entertainment. Utilizing free entertainment adds a lot more to our lives than just the money that it saves. Going on a long walk or a hike can be a great way to spend time with friends and family. And unlike eating out, it's great for your health, it's free, and it's usually a beautiful setting to spend time together. Public parks are another great free option. My wife and I really enjoy taking our two kids to a nearby park. You would think we dropped $10,000 on a Disneyland trip with how happy they are playing on the toys with all the kids. Be creative and find free or inexpensive things that your family loves doing. Again, it saves money, so you can claim this on your frugal conquest, but you'll find that it brings you more happiness, good health, and fulfillment regardless of your financial position. Travel on a budget. Many people enjoy traveling around the world to see new places. And if that's your thing, spend some resources on it. You only live once. If you are a frequent traveler, take the time to look into potential discounts. It might make sense for you to sign up for different memberships to purchase trips in bulk or to accrue loyalty points. And if you can go midweek on your trip instead of during the weekend, that usually saves a lot of money too. Really try to plan out the lodging and your meals and all the travel logistics months in advance so you can save money around the edges and spend your time and money focusing on the things that you're there for. And if you're traveling to eat at fancy restaurants, I, I got nothing for you. Good luck. Shop your car insurance. I must give my wife the credit for this one. Every six months, she'll shop around when she renews our car insurance. We recently saved $200 over our next six month stretch for the exact same coverage. Car insurance tends to operate like cable companies. You receive anti-loyalty treatment. The longer you stay with them and have a good record of payment, the more they stick it to you. Jump ship and save a nice chunk of dough. Invest wisely. Strengthening your frugal habits will increase your happiness and purpose in life, and it'll also line your pockets with a little extra cash. It's important that you make smart investing decisions with that extra cash. Consider dollar cost averaging and to passively manage low cost funds to build stable wealth over the long haul. If you're new to investing, I would highly recommend the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol VOO, which tracks 500 of the largest US companies automatically for you. It has a 100 year track record of about 10% returns per year, and it's the most surefire way to outperform inflation. And don't try to time the market with your investments. Time in the market beats timing the market by a mile. If you dollar cost average in over many decades, you will beat over 90% of actively managed funds by the professionals. And whatever you do here, do not fall for any get rich quick schemes. They do not work. And you might be thinking, aha, but Jeff, what about the Dogecoin millionaire? Or what about the people that hit the GameStop thing just right? For every one person 
that any get rich scheme works for. You don't hear about the thousand people that lost money on a similar situation. If it was that easy, all the really smart people that invest a lot of money would do it. It simply doesn't work. It can be enticing and the impulse in us can say, I wanna dive in on this new fad. Don't do it. Just stay the course and dollar cost average in to the good old fashioned low cost ETFs. Keep it simple with time-tested solutions. Man, that sounds like a really good slogan. Check out this video right here if you're interested in reliably growing your wealth over the long term. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you here next Thursday and sometimes a Sunday. Peace.